Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here and welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl Kat and uh, we missed last week because, well, I had a little car accident uh, on Wednesday the 28th, which we will get into in this video as well as some new makeup products that I got. So if you want to hang out, hear my story, and see the makeup that I use, then stick around because I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, thanks for wanting to stick around. I did get my base done. I used my Unique Touch Glorious Face Primer. I used my IPKN uh, BB Cream Moisturizer. Uh, what else did I use? I put a little bit of this milk makeup underneath my eyes. I used my NYX Professional Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I really like this. I don't know if it helps conceal the bags, but we're working at it. And then I also used my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I used my Keys Soul Care. This is a brow gel. And I used a little bit of my Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist from e.l.f. I think I'm going to spray a little bit more. If you can hear my fan, I apologize. It's a little warm in my room right now. So is that everything that I did? I think so. We're going to pull out my Scooby-Doo mirror. Let's pull that off. And uh, yeah, we'll get into this. Um, so I got this Beauty Creations Banana Setting Powder in my... Uh, ice cream was it my box or my bag I can't remember it is sealed so I'm gonna take this off and I'm not really sure how this is gonna work because like normally you have something bigger to put the powder in so I guess I'll just put a little bit in the lid here and then I will use what brush I'll use this brush right here to put a little bit under my eyes. I'm going to make sure I don't have any creasing in my concealer and we'll just use this brush and kind of tap a little bit underneath there. Kind of smells good. Um, so <laughs> on Wednesday the 28th, it was my Friday. I was super excited for my weekend to hang out with Tish and go, you know, hiking at a new place and um, I got down to where my work is and there is a, I tend to go the back ways, the back way on my work week to avoid a certain light in that area because the traffic always gets built up and it's a pain in the butt. So I go the back way and there's an intersection right there where there's a light going both ways and there's like a n highway 99 so highway 99 runs this way and there's a cross street that goes this way and there's a light and it, it was green when I was driving down the road they don't have like a, a turn signal I'm gonna use a little bit of more of this setting powder and kind of put it all over my face but um, they don't have like a turn signal to let people know when they can turn. And I was going straight into where my work is. I had a green light. There was a car that was turning left and I saw the car and I knew that they weren't gonna wait for me. So I slowed down to let that car go and I'm watching the car go. And then as soon as I turn to go straight, that's when I hit, like it happened just like that. Like it was crazy, so crazy. Um, I'm going to curl my lashes a little bit. Like I never, I never saw it coming. I mean, I saw the car going and I knew there was a couple cars behind that car, but I was watching that car to make sure that it went all the way through before I went straight. Well, the car that was behind that one, it was an SUV. Maybe they were following that car. And so they just kept going. She, she didn't even pay attention. So all I remember is watching the car coming back and all of a sudden the airbag was in my face and I didn't even realize what just happened. 
All right, so you see this right here? That's my unearthly uh, resurgence palette collection box that it came in. So we've got the highlighter palette, the eyeshadow palette, and the lip gloss right here. So we're gonna get into this collection. I took everything out of the boxes to make things a little bit easier. So, like after we hit, I was just kind of like, <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking at the time. Um, I was just kind of, here's what the palette looks like. I'll show you that. It's so pretty, you guys. I am so excited to get into this. I have no idea what I'm going to do, so we're just going to play and see where it takes us. Um, so I really was like, I didn't know what to do. Like I was sitting in my car and I started crying and I'm looking around and I can hear, cause my window was rolled down a little bit. I can hear the lady talking on the phone. I think she was on her phone when we hit. And I heard her saying something about, she hit the car, it's messed up like it almost sounded like she was blaming me and I was like the light was green both ways but there's no turn signal so when you're turning left coming this way or the other way there's turn lanes both ways if the light's green you have to yield to anybody going straight she didn't yield to me and I just remember one of my co-workers was leaving work. I'm going into regeneration, which is the green color. There is a little kick up in the pan. Um, one of my co-workers was leaving work. I'm using, um, I'm going to be using my new uh, Glam Light brushes from the Scooby-Doo collection that I won from Riri. I'm going to use those as well as my Singe Beauty brushes. But, um, she came up to my car and I grabbed onto my window and I was crying and I was like, the light was green. The light was green. And she's like, I know Renee, it wasn't your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. And she called 911 as I'm listening to the lady in the other vehicle, basically making it seem like it was my fault when it wasn't because I was going straight. I had already slowed down to let one car go and she just went like she, she couldn't have been paying attention. If she would have been paying attention, she would have seen me and she would have yielded the right away to me. You know what I mean? So I just remember my coworker, you know, kind of calling 911 and then kind of hanging out with me and she was like, I let Chris know you're not going to be in, you know, because obviously I'm not going to be able to go to work when I was just in a car accident. So she told, you know, my senior manager that I wasn't going to be in to work and she just stayed with me the whole time. Well, at some point I made eye contact with the lady in the other car and I just kind of looked at her crying and I'm like, the light was green, the light was green. And then she proceeded to continue to talk on the phone she's saying the light was green the light was green or whatever and like I'm freaking out my mouth is bleeding um because I had bit my tongue when we hit I chipped the front of my tooth which it's fixed now because I went to the dentist um my thumbnail had been popped off and my my thumb is still sore and I remember my chest and my back was hurting really bad um so they called 911 and my coworker, you know, was staying with me the whole time, you know, helping me kind of, cause like you guys, I was so, I don't know. I was like in shock. I, I couldn't even believe what had just happened because like, I, I, I didn't have any time to brace for it. Like I, I never saw it coming. And so the other lady gets out of her car while she's talking on the phone and my coworker's like, where is she going? And then she came back to her vehicle and then she walked away again. And my coworker's like, where is she going? Where is she going? And she walks down and gets in another car and leaves, leaves the vehicle there and just takes off. 
So then the police come. Let's see, what brush am I going to use? I think I'm going to use my Singe Beauty. This is E01. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to go into Cosmology. I think that's the word, Cosmology, which is like the blue here. And I'm going to put that on the outer V here. I'm just going to tap it on and then we'll blend it out. So um, she gets into another car. She leaves. The ambulance, the fire department, and the police show up. And the officer comes up to my car and starts asking me, you know, what happened. And I explained everything. And I told him she left. I can't believe she left. And he's like, the lady left? And I was like, yeah. She, she just... I still am floored that you get in an accident. Why would you leave the scene? I don't I don't understand that unless you did something wrong. Like either she was drinking, didn't have a license, whatever the case is. So um, I got my phone and I called my sister and she asked me if I wanted her to come get me and take me to the hospital. And I told her that the ambulance was going to take me um, because I, I was scared. Like I didn't know... I was in pain. I didn't know what had just happened. I didn't know if there was anything wrong. So I just, I was like, I'll, I'll just go with the ambulance. And then the police officer was like, where do you want your car towed to? And I'm like, I mean, I don't know, you know, like I didn't really have anywhere at my house to keep it because I don't have a key to the back gate. And even if they would have brought it here, like where were they going to leave it? I was in the hospital for like eight hours. So, um, I get in the ambulance, they take me to the hospital, and I had never experienced anything like that. Uh, I remember being taken by ambulance when I was pregnant with my son because I had one of those headaches, those headaches that start in the back of your eye. I can't remember, uh, I remember Erica Conger talking about it, like uh, something migraine, it's a something migraine that has to do with like the back of your eye or something. But um, I had got one of those, so that was the only other time I had ever been in an ambulance. And so when I got to the ER, there was like people lined up waiting for me to come to come in. And like they just started like putting the, um, uh, what is it, the blood pressure cup on and taking my vitals. Uh, they gave me an IV. They started taking x-rays. They started taking my my clothes off and putting uh, the like gown, the hospital gown on. They took me in to give me CT scans. Like I had never had an experience where there's literally people lined up waiting for you to come in to, you know, start assessing you and everything. And they were asking me what happened, where did I hurt? I, I told them that I had bit my tongue and they, um, one of the doctors looked and, and said that it didn't need stitches so obviously I didn't bite it too hard when we hit these shades are absolutely beautiful this one doesn't have as much kick up as that green one does not that I mind just letting you know and then we were in the hospital for like I think I was there for eight hours because they were you know waiting for all the test results from like the CT scan and everything to make sure nothing was broken, nothing was cracked, you know, and all the tests came back okay. The only thing is that, yeah, yeah, city living, guys, city living. Uh, they found some sort of a cyst or renal something on my left kidney. Um, when I had my follow-up appointment the other day, I talked to the doctor about it and she said I just need to follow up in about six months with my regular doctor to get it checked out she thinks it's um, just blood I guess which could have been caused from the impact of the accident I and then like the next day my stomach started hurting and I looked in the mirror to look at my stomach where the seatbelt would have crossed my lap and there's a huge, huge bruise that I hadn't noticed the day before. And I hurt a lot more the second day. But they always say that you feel more pain 
the second day than you do the first day. And they gave me like naproxen and cyclobenzaprine. Um, so I also called my insurance company to let them know what happened. And so they opened a claim and I explained to them that the other driver left and they were like, the other driver left? So you didn't get any of the information? And I was like, well, no, because she left. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's hard to get information from somebody when they leave the scene of the accident. How's that looking, guys? I'm liking this. This is giving me football vibes, you know, which next month, August, preseason starts. I'm going to use this Singe Beauty EO3, I think. I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard to see. I think it's the three. And I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit. Maybe I should go into C-E-R-A-M. I don't know how to say that. C-E-R-A-M-B-U-S. Anyways, I'm going to dip into that shade and just kind of blend this out a little bit. Um, so I explained to them that, but that she had left her vehicle there, which kind of dumb if you ask me, like, why would you leave the scene of an accident and leave your vehicle there, you know? But it was her, her car was like leaking antifreeze. So it's not like she could have driven it anywhere anyway. But I think the car that picked her up was the car that had turned in front of me, the one that I had let go. I think that maybe she was following that car. But anyways, needless to say, I have had my had I had, had my coworker take pictures for me of the scene so that I would have it for insurance and stuff like that. So I sent them the pictures and in one of the pictures you can see the license plate number of the other vehicle. So I got a call. I don't have personal injury, but I do have uninsured, underinsured motorists. So they were waiting to see if they could find the insurance for the other vehicle to see if it was covered. And if it wasn't, then they were gonna activate my uninsured motorist to cover my medical bills and injuries and stuff that I occurred from the accident. Um, but I got a call from State Farm like a couple days later asking me about what happened and so I explained what happened and at the end of the conversation she's like the description that you're giving doesn't fit the description of the person that actually owns the vehicle but then I got an email that has two insurance companies that are responsible which one is Geico which I'm assuming that Geico is the insurance that the lady actually has on whatever car she drives if she even has a vehicle and then uh, State Farm is the insurance from the vehicle that she was actually driving if that makes I hope that makes sense all right so now what am I gonna do on my lid do I want to use creation scarab transformation I think I might want to use transformation which is this shade right here so I used this green this blue and then look at that sorry for the light I kind of want you to be able to can you see that oh that's so pretty yeah I think I'm gonna use transformation but um what was I saying so anyways they found the other insurance company should I use my finger I don't know I think I'm going to use this brush right here and I'm going to wet it a little bit. I'm going to pick up a little bit of the transformation and then I'm going to spray my brush with my e.l.f. and then we'll lay it on the lid. But um, my insurance company found that the other driver was 100% at fault. They were supposed to send somebody like a field something or other to go look at my vehicle to assess the damage to see is it fixable or not. I think I'm gonna use my finger. Is it fixable or are they gonna total it out? You know what I mean? Uh, from everybody that I've talked to, it sounds like they're, they're going to total it out. But today is Saturday the 8th, 
so a week and a half and the adjuster or whatever person still has not gone <laughs> to look at my vehicle so I have been contacting my insurance like I kind of need to know you know what I mean what is going on with my car like do I need to find you know an auto place to fix it or are you going to total it out so I can go start looking for a new car like what the heck is going on you know what I mean I do have rental coverage so I was able to pick up a rental car they did only give it to me what was it until I think I was supposed to return it Thursday was the original date and I called them because they said that your insurance company can extend it out because I have like they gave me like $30 a day up to $900 which is basically about a month you know so but I still would like to know like you know what what I'm gonna do here like do I need to start looking for a new car do I need to try and find a uh, a garage or whatever to have my car taken to like do I need to start getting estimates about how much it's gonna be to fix it like I don't know anything right now you guys you know what I mean like nothing so I'm, I'm waiting on all of that all right now let me get my LYS bronzer out and put that on and my blush and then hmm we'll come back I'll come back when I've got all that done and we'll do the lower lash line and the um, highlighter and the lip gloss. So hang tight. I'll be right back and we'll finish the story. All right, guys, I'm back. I used my LYS bronzer. This is No Limits Matte Bronzer. I think it says Harmony. So that's what I use for my bronzer. For my blush, I use my My Dream Cheek Trio. Just use this blush right here because I really like it. Um, for my mascara, I got a new mascara out, which is my Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. I'm not sure. I used my KBD Cake Pencil for a tight line, and I used my Avon Pencil in Emerald for my waterline. So far, so good, so far. I also did go into this creation color right here with um, one of my brushes and just tapped it on top here. I don't know, what are you guys thinking? All right, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into Cosmology, which is that blue shade, and I'm gonna use my E01 Singe Beauty brush, and we're just gonna tap it right underneath here and connect it with this outer V. Okay, so let's finish up this story. Uh, my sister did call a lawyer for me, but the lawyer said advice to wait at least a week to see if it's a one and done um, before I before they'll take on my case because they don't get anything unless you get something. You know what I'm saying? So they want to make sure there's actually a case before they take you on. Um, so... I did call them. They did say that they can help me. So I've been sending them any information. They said as far as my car is concerned, I got to work with my insurance company on that. And that because they deal with personal injury cases. Um, and I do have to go for physical therapy, chiropractic, and massage therapy. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to use my... EO5 Singe Beauty Brush, and I'm going to go into the Regeneration, which is the green, and we're going to blend this out. Um, so I, I have an appointment with them on Thursday to talk with the actual lawyer. Um, what else do I got going on? I'm waiting on my car. I did get an email from State Farm with an offer for that accident, and uh, I mean, to be honest, guys, it's laughable. It's really freaking laughable because everything that I went through, there's no way that's going to cover everything, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to let the lawyers deal with that. My sister did take me 
to go get everything out of my car because um, my coworker had gotten into an accident and they totaled her car out and she said, when you go, make sure you get everything out of your car because if they total it out, um, you won't be able to go back and get your stuff. So I literally got everything that was in my car out of my car when my sister took me, which was hard because I was in a decent amount of pain. I've been off, well, the accident was Wednesday. And then I tried to go back Monday and I made it about two and a half hours. And I was like, I can't do this because I was still hurting. And then I came home and I called in for another few days and I had sent a note to my HR department, but I guess my HR department never got it. And then when I went for my follow up with the trauma place, because I had an appointment with my regular doctor, she gave me a note to have me off till the eighth. And I tried to go back early, which didn't work out. And then I had a follow up with the trauma people. Um, and when I went to see them, they wanted me to be off until Monday. And they were like, if you need more time, just let us know, which I, th I think I'll be fine. Um, I'm going to go into life, which is the like white color in the palette right here. And I'm going to use that on my inner corner. I'm just, oh, wowzas. I'm using this Glam Light Scooby-Doo pencil brush to put it on the inner corner. That, that, right, Heather, that perfectionis. Love it. It's beautiful. This is actually my first time trying Unearthly Cosmetics. I've, they've been on my radar for sure. I, I just haven't, you know seen anything I guess that really piqued my interest enough to have me go ahead and make a purchase but I really love I really love Heather Austin I love her content I love her like just everything like she just seems like a really cool chick she seems really sweet and down to earth and you know I love her to death and so I really wanted to support her so getting this collection was like a no-brainer for me but anyways, I'm better now. I've been off of work for almost two weeks, which really sucks because it's taking all of my flex time, my, my vacation time. It's, it's using all of that. And this is the last thing I wanna use my vacation time for, especially when I have vacation plans in the future, like to go spend a week with my dad. I'm like, I'm not gonna have any vacation time. You know what I mean? So, all right, I'm gonna go into the rebirth right here. And I'm gonna use this brush and we're going to put that on the brow bone and use it to kind of blend out the green and the blue shade. But it was like pretty traumatic. Like Tish went with me to go get my rental car because I, I went to go pick up my rental car a couple days after the accident. And I was still kind of hurting and I was really nervous to drive. So. Tish took me down to pick it up and you know I told her I said I'm a little bit nervous to drive you know what I mean and she was like do you want me to follow you and I was like yeah so she followed me home which was really great you know she's she's so amazing she's always there when I need her you know what I mean like when I had COVID she brought me food and being in the accident you know she you know help me out so it, it means a lot all right now let's look at this renew look at that you guys oh, that's so pretty since i used the rebirth on the brow bone can you see that it's really pretty i think we're gonna is that even right there i think we're gonna use the renewal shade on my cheeks i'm just gonna use my finger and tap it on whole can you can you see that guys well tap a little bit over here wow that's so pretty that is so pretty all right let me get this brush and i'm just gonna kind of blend it out a little bit but yeah tish has been great my sister's been great because my sister did come to the 
I'm going to put a little bit of the renal on the tip of my nose and then a little bit. Let's mix the rebirth in with it too. Put that right there. How's that look? And then we'll take rebirth and also put it on the Cupid's bow. But yeah, my sister was at the hospital with me the whole time, which was nice. I don't think I would have made it if I was there by myself. All right, now let's do the gloss. I need a lip liner, guys. What lip liner? I think I'll use this, my, my little blanket that I put on my chair is falling down. Kara Envy. And we'll use this to line my lips. All right, now that we got that on, let's do the gloss. I'm so excited. What was the name of this gloss? It is Omen. Omen is the name of gloss. Look at the little doe fruit. <gasps> oh. That's so pretty, you guys. I wiped it off with some tissue so it doesn't mess up the shade. I'm just going to tap a little more on. Oh, that's beautiful. Heather, you done good. You done good, honey. I love it. Not sticky. It kind of smells good, too. But, yeah, this is this is my final look. What do you guys think? Hmm. I love it. I love it, and I'm so glad I picked this up. I really wanted to try Unearthly, and this was a great opportunity to support one of my favorite creators and um, try a new brand. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the look? I think it's beautiful. All right, so let me show you again. We got the gloss, Omen. We've got the highlighter palette. Look at that. Look at that. And it's the shades are Renewal is this one, and Rebirth is this one. Love it, love it. And then the best part, the palette. And those are the shades right there. I use this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one right here. I can't wait to play with this some more. But let me know what you think. But thanks for hanging out with me today and listening to me talk about my experience in an accident. I've never been in an accident like this before. I've been in little like fender benders, a little bumper, you know what I mean? But nothing of this magnitude. I mean, it literally like, it's so hard to explain. It was like one minute you're driving, the next minute, bam. You know what I mean? You, you're hitting something and it's like, what? Like... I had no idea what happened and I'm going to have to be going through physical therapy and all of this other stuff and like it was starting to get really overwhelming which is why I ended up calling the lawyer and like explaining to them what was going on and everything because like I can't like I don't know what's fair for me to get from the other insurance company. I do feel like the offer that they gave me I don't know if both Geico and State Farm are going to make offers to me but I've only gotten an offer from State Farm and like literally what they're offering is barely going to cover my time off of work. You know what I mean? Like are, are you joking me? Like I feel like everything that I've been through is worth a little bit more than that. I mean Let's be real. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not trying to scam anybody. I'm not trying to pull one over on anybody. But I feel like I I deserve a little more than what they want to give me. You know what I mean? Like with my car and the trip to the hospital and being off for almost two weeks. And, you know, like the tra trauma of it all. Like it, it was scary. Like I, 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 I don't know how to explain like how I felt in that moment, you know what I mean? And like being a little nervous to drive again, you know what I mean? There's like just being nervous to get in the vehicle and drive on the road again. And like now I'm super hypersensitive to everything that's going on around me, you know what I mean? Like if I come up to a light, I'm like, before I even get there, I'm like looking at everything first because I'm afraid somebody's going to come out of nowhere and hit me, you know? So having to deal with that is kind of crazy as well. But anyways, I will leave Heather's video talking about the collection linked down below as well as her channel. So you can kind of go check it out and see what she says is her inspiration for this and everything. Um, 
Yeah, but I really like it. And I'm glad that I could support her because I love her so much. Also, make sure that you go check out Kat. She'll be linked down below. I love you, Kat. Thanks for another week. Sorry I missed last week, but thank you for understanding. Um, and yeah, so I'll leave her on the end screen and down below. So you guys, when you're done here, go check out Kat. Make sure you go check out Heather because she's amazing. Um, and I think that's everything. Just let me know what you think of the look. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. I hope you all take care. Stay safe. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll join Nene's Glam Squad. Go down below. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Turn up your notification bell. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And like I said, leave a comment. Let me know that you stopped by. I love you all so very much. And uh, I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.